no matter what the president says, this country belongs to you. Mm -hmm. And it belongs to everyone. New York's Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez standing alongside her fellow Democratic Congresswoman, the four all women of color, the target of President Trump's remarks, widely considered a racist attack. All I'm saying that if they're not happy here, they can leave. The president says he has no regrets and defended his statements that began with tweets over the weekend telling the four congresswomen to go back where they came from. But three were born in the U.S. and the fourth has been a U.S. citizen for 20 years now. One of his tweets during their news conference this evening calling them pro-Al-Qaeda. We are no longer going to allow uh, the dignification of such ridiculous ridiculous statement. While few Republicans have condemned the president's comments, Democrats, including local lawmakers, are speaking out, saying this is an attack on all of us. Many of us who have a little bit melanin in their skin and sometimes don't look uh, blonde and blue-eyed have heard those words uh, or have heard words similar. I know I have as well, uh, and so we know what they mean. For an American president to tell four members of Congress, four women of color, to go back where you came from, if that is not an example of racism, then I don't know what is. The president claims his remarks are not racist. Do you think the tweets were racist? Not at all, no. Mr. Trump even saying today many people agree with him. Critics fear this is normalizing racist statements. We just now have the person in the White House who is the biggest uh, mouthpiece uh, for this kind of bigotry.